<laughs> oh man. Um, first weekend of the CDL, man. What really happened what? besides cold hands, shitty weather? What happened on the matches against FaZe? Oh, because we were we. I mean, I mean, like obviously, like at the end of the day, it was just a league match. But to take away like anything from that match, it was just like S and D's. Obviously, like we just got to improve on that. I don't even think our S and D's that bad. I just think it was those two maps. I think yeah. the other three were pretty good on, like really good on. But it was just like that was just a batch, like twelve one. Like it looked like we just didn't even know what we were doing. Yeah. But other than that, I'm actually like pretty happy with how we played because like other than that, we should have won. Like we should have won the series three one just by off our response. Yeah. So yeah, but like. Me and Brandon were talking about it after. Like, it's honestly better that we didn't just 3-1 them because if we were to 3-1 them, we would have looked at that Miami like it was a fluke. Yeah. We would have been like, I mean, dude, what? This is a random match with 3-1 them. But because we lost both searches so bad, like, it made us take a step back and be like, okay, we got, obviously got to improve on search on those maps specifically yeah. or just at search in general. Um, you see what I'm saying, though? Like, it's it's better for the long run because it is a league match, you know? Yeah. Like, if we play them in the playoff thing or the, the major, we beat them there, like, we're going to obviously talk shit or something, you know what I mean? Um, or feel good about that. But it's like... Um, it was good to get like that match under our belt because if we were to just be like four and zero, then play them at the end, like it, it would just been different. Yeah, we have a lot of time now to prepare for the major and like you know what I'm saying, see what's wrong with our yeah. shit. Yeah, because I'm um, super confident in our respawn. I don't think like especially like that. Like it t- it took them beating us by five points and like a couple gunfights like going their way. Like that usually never happens. And a couple like lucky timings that, like after looking at the vod back. Oh yeah. To like beat us by five points. You know, it was a lot of things that was going Tyler's you know way. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like just winning. I mean, he was obviously playing really well. Yeah, he was. He was just winning gunfight after gunfight, and they were just all important as hell. Like there was one early in the match that I would have gotten streaks if I killed him, and then he saved another one like when book, he killed Seth, yeah. and he killed fucking Brandon Killer. Okay, like, yo, I gotta talk about this because I'm getting tweets that I got shit on or some shit. I kind of did get shit on, but like, so it was at the very end of the game. This one, Abizi popped the three piece, and then I was the third guy, and then. So like, I think we were calling him out week or something. I was like, I right, whatever. I just shot at him. I shot three, four bolts. I thought they were like four perfect shots. You stopped shooting. And I stopped shooting the goal get like for, the, ready for the next guy. And then I was like, oh yeah. shit, he's not dead. And then he just fucking like incinerates yeah, me. He hits a good looks, shot. It looks like but, you stopped shooting. Yeah. I just watched it, but it's whatever. Like I said, it was just it was just a good like match to get like under our belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was good to play them. Like I'm happy that we played them. Um, but it's it's like these are all just league matches, like it's all just receding, right? So as long as we just don't blow it. In the last three matches, like we should be in a good spot still. Because when I looked at the pools beforehand, it was going to be us in phase number one, too, no matter what. Regardless of where we were, like who was one or yeah. who was two, it could still switch. It doesn't matter. But it's like you're looking for Empire and Thieves on the other side, and we know that we're going to play one of them. So either way. Yeah. Uh, what did you guys think about uh, Dallas losing to Rocker? I'm yeah. interested. I called it. Didn't I call it? You did. Matt did call it. I did call it. They lost the same way we did. They lost both searches and I think uh, offense on control or something like that. Yeah, but control. That's just how it was. Like, I mean, like I guess it just happens how like because if you're if you're like the better respawn team going into a series and then like your S and D's not like up to par like with your respawn then you lose one of those respawns and you're just forced to win like one of the S and D's and like they just didn't that's just what happened I was like kind of but I don't know like I, I feel like our S and D was was Bro. pretty good going into it but to be honest Miami S and D to be honest with you I just hate how I hate the pro community for the fact that search practice is so hard to come by. Good search practice is so hard to come by. Yeah. Because we'll schedule scrims, right? And, like, you, you play your S&D off stream and, like, you do try to work on stuff. But at the end of the day, like, playing s in a match is just so much different. Yeah. It is so different. And I, I, like, I don't really know how to, like, describe why it's different. It's just people don't take the same chows. There's a lot more team pushes. It's, like, the things you see in the scrims, it's, like, you can play as much as you want. But you're pretty much playing, like, to get timings or learn timings and then situational clutches and stuff like that. But, like, we were just getting smoked, so it was, like, I don't know. But I didn't even feel like we, like, could have prepared for that type of S&D because it's, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, first time we played Miami, and obviously we played Miami wrong or whatever because we just got blown through. But I don't feel like we got good Miami practice the whole time. We probably played the map, like, 11 times in different scrims, you know, just yeah, across the board. all different. Against pro that. teams, top and West Star, you know what I'm saying? Like, we play these teams a lot. We practice search a lot. But it's just different when it's in the match. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I just, I just hate how it's like games two and five, but you can't even really practice for it. Mm-hmm. We're getting on every day and we're scrimming hard point and control, like going hard. Every team's going hard and hard point. Everyone's playing eights, playing hard point. It's like there's no real good SD practice. You can play SD tourneys and stuff, but then they have different rules. There's, the SD kids play differently, way differently than pros. They do. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. Like in what? Like, like so when I watch Brandon play like SD eights or something randomly here, um, he's playing with like Mohawk and like those are Illy and those type of kids. Like, that whole group, they just play S&D different than pros do. They play a lot of, like, single shadows. Yeah. They play a lot of, like, clutches. It's, like, it's just different. There's a lot of credit angles. It's a whole like, different mindset. It's a whole different way of playing s What is, like, credit angle? Like, just, like, an off angle or just, like, playing to where, like, the guy has to, like, push you. And then you're, like, what the fuck? He's right there. Like, it's a credit corner. They play literally the opposite of predictable. That's what it is. When they told me that I did that on, on, uh, on Moscow. <laughs> he said, He's a credit. Credit angle. Yeah, I was, like, I, was, I was, like, not insulted by it either. I was just, like, yeah, yeah. 
I didn't know what it was. Not being a credit <laughs> is like really good. Like it's especially a good if you master like the play style. Like, like like Dylan, I consider him a credit. Like he doesn't really like. It's like ratty. Thing. Yeah, like, it's almost like another word for like ratty. Yeah, exactly. It's a yeah. good thing though. Like you get a kill and you just hide. Yeah, you just don't even see or the guy again for the rest of the round. You yeah, lay like, down in a corner, sound horror. Like that's exactly. Like a yeah. yeah, I thought a credit was like someone that sponsors someone with a tournament. Yeah, that's what it is. Just a shit player. It's where it stems from because you're like, wow, why wouldn't he, why wouldn't he chow me? He's playing like Fucking a credit. Yeah, literally. <laughs> he's hiding. He's hiding. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like that's now it's like good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, that's that annoying. I always, looking back at my 15 year career as being a pro, <laughs> I would mm -hmm. get the people I got annoyed at, the I guess. It, the like Ryan Noobs. Yeah, he was a credit. Yes. Ryan was a credit. Pistola those, was a credit. Those type of places. Pistola was that, like, the best credit. Yeah. Those type of places that like piss me off. Are like low key, like good plays. Yeah. Or, or just, you're just like, God, this guy's so fucking yeah. annoying. I can't even fight him. <laughs> yeah. It's just running away. Yeah. Like, yeah. You it's played against thing. Pasola? Yeah, I played with him too. He's on my team. He Did you play against Pasola? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever beat Pasola. He hasn't. <laughs> there's no way. There's just no way Maniac can beat Pasola. <laughs> <laughs> it's those things that just don't line up. If Ace can beat him in a 1v1 at well, 400,000, was it 400,000? 300? How much Ace won? It was two hundred fifty thousand. I think I only beat Pistol at one time, actually. I don't know if I have. Do you once. think you think somebody like oh, that? I beat everyone else then. <laughs> <laughs> did you have you? Did you ever play you against him? Me? Have you ever beaten me? Did I beat you? I don't think you beat me. Have I played you? Yeah. Wait, weren't you on the team that I beat for top three? <sighs> I think it was like you. Top it three. was like my second event. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he when it was like once. you, Ryan Noob. Was yeah, it? I think you guys beat us once. When it was like you, me, Clutch. Wes, ABG, and Cloud. Yeah, I think you guys at beat the, us once. Like first event, Columbus. I think. I don't think you beat us. I think we lost to Dynasty at Dallas. Oh. Uh, or no, 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 we beat Dynasty. You guys might have beat us at event. Yeah. When did you start? We, what year? 2011. Damn, that's a long. And, and you went to every single MLG event. Like, Who was cock riding? He was cock riding me by, by like the third event. Yeah, right. He was like, please save me. All my fucking teammates left me. I don't remember that at all. And I was like, all my teammates was, left me. <laughs> you know, the only There's reason no the only reason why I wanted to team with Nick was because I wanted because back then all the gamer pictures and on Xbox you could have BTH as your thing. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta get on a team that has one of those, right? So I was like, okay, BTH triggers down like one of those. Carbon. And Hell I was like, yeah. BTH, holy shit, he needs help. I was like, I'm just gonna go there <laughs> holy and make shit, he needs insta help. change my gamer tag to BTH formal, like fucking, or he was like believe in formal, and then had like the fucking um the picture. And I was like, this looks so sick. That's the only reason. But, like, he, he would turn out to be, like, my best friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, Over yeah. time, but... Then, he was just a like, good teammate. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, there's a difference between okay a teammate. good teammate because, like, anyone can be a good teammate. You know what I mean? Like, Not I'll really. dap you up. I'll hype you up. In game, though, like, that's a different story. Yeah. You just know what I mean? The play. I mean, Nick, Nick was good when I played with him. He was good. I did leave his bitch ass, though, and then beat him the next event, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Little, and then won that event with Dynasty. Yeah, you guys were good as fuck.